Hello, physics students. I am Mr. Williams, and we're talking about the last part of magnets. So, what kind of materials are magnetic? Mainly, um, we're thinking about three metals. Magnets do not attract to all metals. Uh, common metals that are attracted to magnets are iron, cobalt, and nickel. So, when you think of permanent magnets, those are the ones you're usually thinking of. Uh, rare earth magnets um, have a little bit more unique chemistry and unique design. Um, to make them work, but iron, cobalt, nickel, those are things you're thinking about the most when you are referring to magnets. And there are a lot of metals that do not have attraction to magnets. We're talking about aluminum, like aluminum cans, that doesn't work. Zinc, so pennies are now made of zinc with a copper coating, and um, they don't attract to magnets, and the same is for silver. So electrons have magnetic properties. In most atoms, the magnetic properties of atoms cancel themselves out. In atoms such as iron, magnetic properties do not cancel out and have their own magnetic field. So we're talking about that individual atoms. So that iron, that cobalt, that nickel, they'll behave in this way. Atoms with magnetic properties do not make them magnetic automatically. There's a you got to think about the orientation of the atoms, and that's what is um, referred to as magnetic domains, which we're going to talk about. Magnetic domains, if we zoomed in on the tiny little atoms of a piece of iron, for example, um, every iron atom is going to behave like a little magnet. Well, if the atoms are pointed in many different directions, we'll say they are randomly oriented, like up here in the top right, that image, all of those atoms are arranged in different ways. Well, those atoms have a north side and south side, just like uh, permanent magnets do. They have north pole and a south pole. So they have a north pole and they have a south pole. If they're all randomly arranged, those magnetic domains, cancel each other out, and so that means the iron is not magnetic. On the bottom, you can see all the arrows are pointing the same direction. All the south sides of the atoms are on the same side. All the north sides are on the same side. So this magnetic domain, all these atoms with the line magnetic poles, all of these atoms make the same iron, for example, but this iron behaves like a magnet. So the atoms of magnetic materials exert a magnetic force on nearby atoms. The force causes the atoms to align magnetic poles in the same direction. So we have magnetic domains, and that is groups of atoms with aligned magnetic poles. Magnetic domains contain an enormous number of atoms. They're gigantic, more than billions, more than trillions, more than zillions, lots and lots and lots. An iron nail contains a tremendous number of magnetic domains, like we just said. Nails do not behave like magnets because the poles are arranged in random directions, like in the top left. Randomly arranged magnetic domains cancel out any magnetism. So on the top left is what we would see with a iron nail that is not magnetic. Now, if we touch the nail with a magnet, that would temporarily cause the magnetic domains to align in the direction of the magnetic fields, right? And so like if you had a permanent magnet, you touched it on a iron nail, you could use that iron nail to pick up another iron nail because the magnetism kind of travels through it. Well, the magnetism travels through it because it temporarily turns those magnetic domains uh, in the uh, orientation where they're aligned. Then when the magnet is removed, the magnetic domains of the nail return to the random arrangement. And so this case, the nail is a temporary magnet. Well, when the nail was touching a permanent magnet, it behaved magnetically and could pick up paper clips and nails and stuff. But then when you remove the magnet, it would drop whatever nail was connected to it because the atoms went back into its original orientation. Now, permanent magnets, they would be what we see in the bottom left up here. Okay? Um, permanent magnets, all those atoms are frozen into the same alignment. They're all lined up. All the souths are on the same side. All the norths are on the same side. So let's think about this anytime we're talking about permanent magnets. 
So a permanent magnet can be made by placing a magnetic material in a strong magnetic field. And so if you have a really strong magnetic field, you can influence a magnetic material to be frozen in its magnetic state. Permanent magnets can lose magnetic behavior if heated. So if you had like permanent magnet and you heated it up with a blowtorch, um, it would lose. It would lose its magnetic um, behavior. And you can see plenty of videos on YouTube that show you what happens when you heat um, up magnets. So heating causes the magnetic domains to come out of alignment. That's what happens. It allows the atoms to loosen up and move around and switch their orientation back to a random arrangement. And so the last thing we're talking about is like, can you isolate a, a North Pole or a South Pole? So let's imagine you had a magnet. You're like, I wonder if I broke this magnet right in the middle. Would the left side be only a North Pole and then the the right side would it only be a south pole? Like, could I just have only a north pole magnet? Well, no, you can't. This is why. If you break a magnet in half, the north and south poles are not separated. A new north pole and a new south pole are created because the magnetic domains are still aligned. And so in this image, this little, these little tiny magnets inside of the magnet, you know, they're still frozen in that same orientation. And what you end up with is just a weaker magnet because you just broke in half, and so now you just have two magnets. All right, guys, that's all we're going to talk about, and so that covers everything from this week, this and the previous lecture that you're going to need for this quiz, guys. Um, don't forget to read the text that was uploaded. It covers um, similar material and covers information on the quiz. Um, see you in class. Have a great day. Bye-bye.